Hi guys, it's Minna and welcome back to another episode on the channel. We are back on the Hypixel Scarblock servers if you do want to come and join us. I hope you're doing well and keeping safe. Today guys, we have a very exciting episode for you. Today is a brand new update out. It's only been released for about two days. Today guys, it is the Crystal Hollows update. It is absolutely amazing update. I'm saying it's amazing because I actually just did a whole video explaining to you guys how good it was on my first um, time seeing it and unfortunately my mic didn't record any of my voice so we're going to have to do it all again and I'll be showing you a bit more sped up version so you guys can get through it a bit quicker because I spent quite a while going through things because I didn't know what I was doing but yes today guys is going to be a very exciting episode of course we're hitting the dwarven mines and if you come and talk to this guy you'll see there's a few more parts to it so there's a dwarven rail which you have to basically buy a ticket for when you buy a ticket, it means you can fly around the door and rails in order to get to places quicker. And the Crystal Hollows are the brand new addition. I'll show you guys it's right at the end of the entrance as you walk through here. And basically, guys, what it does is you go through this new area where there are new mobs and there are new gemstones which you have to mine, which is all this stuff here. And I'm going to show you guys what this stuff is and how cool it is. So these are the new thing that you can basically mine. You need a good pickaxe to mine a lot of this stuff because at the moment... Breaking power six only gets you red. And there's about four or five other blocks which you need to get amazing boosts. And as you can see, just here, some say harness properly. It can give the owner extra intelligence. This gives health. Uh, this gives mining fortune. There's loads of things to add to all these different things. And it's going to be absolutely awesome that you can add to your gear. But enough of that. We're going to head right over to here, guys. And as you can see, the brand new uh, entrance is this. This is the Crystal Hollows update. Um, and as you can see, there's a few things here. So apparently you need torches for something. I don't know why. Uh, I think it might be dark, but I have my gamma up high on my screen, as you guys can see. It's not too dark for me. And then this guy also does a bit of a thing where he shows you how power six, what I have here, gets me the uh, the um, the ruby gemstone block and shard. And these are what you have to mine. They are literally uh, glass uh, items down there you'll mine. And as you can see from amber up, to get all this stuff, you have to have a lot of a stronger pickaxe. But luckily, when you kill mobs, they also drop a load of things. And then this is here where you come in here and you will basically put your gemstones in here. And then yeah, this item can have gemstone applied to them, uh, can put in the grinder. Oops. Only item that can have gemstones applied to them can put in the grinder. So obviously, you put gear in here. And then I don't know what gear you can put in there yet. But I'm still figuring it out. As you said, I've just done it. So this is where you're meant to... Uh, there you go. As you can see, you jump onto this minecart, and we're going to jump. Let me, come on. And we are off. So, yeah, we basically fly through this area. Uh, it's really, really cool. It costs 10,000 coins. Um, this is the whole new area. It costs 10,000 coins in order to buy like two hours on this thing. I don't know what happens after that, if it's just continuous, but you can use this to basically get around a whole lot easier. Uh, but yeah, so this minecart shows you all the different areas. I This is absolutely insane. Um, I don't remember coming this way. Maybe it's a different route each time. But yeah, so we'll go to different areas. I don't know if you have to like look in a certain way and it takes you that way. Because uh, I was just making up as I was going along. As you can see, we come to this area here, uh, which was the uh, Ruby area, I think. Oh, there you go. This is there, the Prosecutor's Remnants, uh, which is a slightly higher up uh, one. There's a two or three versions of this. But yes, these mazes are pretty cool. Um, there's loads of new blocks. Ooh, I don't know what this is. I don't know what I've just done. Oh, this is quite cool. A loot chest. Wow, I didn't even know this was a thing. So there's rough diamonds. So we've got rough diamonds. I get gemstone powder, which is the new powder, which used to be mythical powder. Rough rubies and more gemstone powder. Wow, I didn't even know that was a thing. That is something that I didn't even realize was a thing. So yeah, it makes you look out for loot chests because apparently there's loot chests around. But yeah, so these are the new mob. Oh, that was quite cool. So these are all the uh, things you can use. So rough is the lowest level. And then you create a uh, fabled and then you go up and up and up and that comes in the collection area so if i go over to collections as you can see that's how you can exit crystal hollows if you go to collections and click mining collection now you've got gemstones so as you can see as you level up you can now create flawed of all of these which is basically you turn rough into fabled or flawed sorry and as you what you wait your talismans you're fine which is same again it's slightly different design goes up to that uh, and then we work our ways up to ring of power. Uh, we've got scrolls. I'm not sure So gain 1% of your missing health when you're using your right click item Wow, so there's loads of abilities you can now get flawless and of course gemstone gauntlet Wow, so gauntlet obviously is like Thanos and you can add all the gemstones to it Which I've just realized why this is based off of um, and you can basically you can use as a both sword and a pickaxe 
This is absolutely insane. As you can see, I haven't got high enough Heart of the Mountain, so I probably need to get back onto the grind. But as you can see, it's got a breaking power of nine with a mining speed of 1,600. So everyone who's been grinding at mining, this is going to be absolutely insane, guys. But I mean, these automation guys are hard. Um, yeah, they hit hard, but they do drop a lot of stuff. So you can want, well, I just want tapped him. Um, can kill them and they drop sapphires. Uh, so that's sort of how I've been collecting the sapphires at the moment. And you break the glass like this. So I can't break that glass because it needs power seven. So that's sort of why I have to stick to the red ones. And I don't know how to get out of this area. Uh, so yeah, you can mine all of these, uh, all of the glass like that. Uh, these robots are painful if they shoot you with the red stuff. So watch out for that. Uh, but of course you can kill, they're not impossible to kill. So these are still normal ores, but if we can find a big open area, that is where the amazing part is. So I need to try and remember this place. It's definitely going down is where we have to head. So. Uh, red is the one that we can mine, so as you can see, I can mine this and I'll get the uh, rubies. Uh, but these are not complete rubies, for, uh, these are ruby shards. I don't know what rubies completely look like yet, because it says one of my objectives is to mine rubies, so I'm just going to keep mining as I go. But this also gives you gemstones uh, powder. I don't know what gemstone powder does yet, still trying to figure that one out. But as you can see, there's loads of uh, red there. This is a new area, wasn't much did grass last time. Um, I assume we just keep heading down. I can't remember. As you remember, the uh, when you first learn how to use the, all of these places, it's quite hard. But okay, so I've not been to this area before. Wow, there's a lot of red here. Um, not sure what this place is. Okay, there's a guy here. Kill you. Got it. And another loot box, I think. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, another loot box. Wow. Hi. Okay. <laughs> so we've got more rough rubies. So obviously there's loads of loot places around here that you can come and uh, get things. I'm not sure what. This puzzle has already been solved. Ah, oh, there's puzzles to do things here. Wow. That is a lot of stuff to be doing here. I didn't even know what this place was. Uh, I've not been here before. Uh, I was trying to find the main area, but I'm not trying to find my way out now. Um... Well, while I'm just running around, I've come up to the goblin hole out, where obviously this is where the goblins are. There's, a, the, um, there's two other places. There's where the robots come from, which is like the automation area, uh, automation, and then there is the area where the dwarves come from. There's like a massive hole open there. So definitely need to explore this area fully. There can be loads of things to be doing in here. Um, I hope they release some map of some sort, because this is absolutely insane. We've got the goblin queen's den. Oh my God place is insane um yeah the amount of detail in this place is phenomenal um what's any goblin yeah i'm not sure that's a good or bad sign but yeah this is absolutely insane the stuff they have here like so obviously this is the amber so the different levels or different amounts for each one but yeah this is absolutely phenomenal the amount of different things they have already is insane i'm not sure what's even in here definitely look out for the loot boxes as well because they're pretty good when starting off uh, magical force surrounding the from being broken obviously it's just <laughs> also but yeah as you can see guys this is a phenomenal update there's loads of things to be doing the mining of the uh, red is where you start off with and then uh, and then of course you work your way up but yeah so definitely a huge update worth a lot of exploring um, and of course anyone who got better mining gear you have to probably do a little bit more than I can at this point in time but yeah this is a phenomenal structure and obviously loads of events going on because of Keep seeing people in comments saying they don't want to know where different things are. So this is going to be a massive update. I definitely could have live streamed this, which would have been insane. Uh, so I apologize for not doing that. But yeah, there's going to be loads of things that we can uh, check out and try. Because like I said, on the video, um, oh, there's a goblin. Uh, I might pull up the recording of the two areas that we found, uh, just so you guys can see the uh, the other places that they're actually available. It's absolutely phenomenal. Um, but yeah, so there's loads of places. There's th four places so far we've found. Uh, so yeah, definitely gonna keep uh, keep our eyes open, see if we can find it. And of course, we've also got these compasses, which point to something that you want. I'm not too sure what they do, um, but I don't know. Just ah, so let's go that way. Whatever that means. So these compasses obviously point to something. Don't know what they point to, but um, they're meant to point to something that you want, uh, and you can basically use them to track things down. But we're gonna be experimenting with these a lot, guys. As you can see, all the goblins are now spawning in. So goblins are 
the usual goblins and then to fighting out the other um, things can definitely level you guys up. But yeah, so we're probably going to end today's episode, guys. There's going to be loads more uh, videos on this afterwards, so definitely stay with the channel if you are new. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and put your notifications on so you don't miss any episodes when we try out these, all the new crazy things on this brand new update. But yeah, this is going to be absolutely amazing. This is, there's so much stuff to uh, check out. It's going to be phenomenal. There's probably loads of uh, fairy souls that they're probably added in that we're going to try and find. Um, but yeah, so this is going to be a phenomenal update. But as you guys can see, you just hit this button, and exit the Crystal Hollows. It normally, just takes you straight back out like that so it takes you back to the start but yeah so that is sort of everything that you get um anyway but yeah so guys that is going to be it for today's episode i apologize for the strange format but yeah so there's loads of places going to be added like i said i'll show those clips uh midway through so you guys can see all the cool things that the um new server has got and definitely we're going to be trying out all the new updates which is going to be absolutely amazing but guys i hope you enjoyed today's episode if you're new don't forget that subscribe button and put your post notifications on so you see all of the new updates new videos and live streams and if you did enjoy don't forget that like button down below and i'll see you all in the next episode see you